Hi everyone, originally I wanted to do a review of this set, but since everyone and their grandma already did this, I decided to make a bit of a different video and we're gonna be looking into modifying this set so it's a bit more realistic. Now, the first thing that this set really needs is a proper differential. You cannot or should not have a racing car with only one wheel drive. That's just, that's just wrong. So, first thing, uh, I decided to design a proper uh, rear axle with a differential. You can find the LDD file in the description. So basically, in order to fit a differential inside, I move the differential back one start and I'm using a pair of 8 tooth gears to transfer the power. So you can build this and now I'm gonna show you how to install it. So first we're gonna have to take a bit, uh, a bit of the original part. So we're gonna take off the side skirts. Okay, then we can start by spreading this side of the axle and you can already see that the rear is trying to go out. Now we need to push this yellow axle out, I'm gonna remove the wheels so it's easier. So once we remove this we have the whole rear section and while we're at it we're also gonna add uh, uh, proper steering to the model so I'm gonna keep uh, keep on taking it apart now let's take off the doors and you can pull out the entire dash like this okay so now that we did that we can take this apart so the idea is that we get far enough for us to take the model apart like this yes okay now we will remove the axle joiner and we're gonna add these two pieces so uh, a plate with a, a round plate with a hole and a 24 tooth gear like this okay now we also have to change the way the rear axle is gonna be attached because the the new axle has a much shorter bins here so I'm gonna I'm gonna start by removing the rear spoiler this and now we just have to remove this yeah pushing this axle is a bit harder And now we can remove this part. Now we need to save these blue pieces. Because the blue pieces are gonna come at this axle here. So now we take the axle that was designed in LDD. First we're gonna attach it like this. Next, we attach the rear bumper thing, this, and we also have to put the spoiler support inside. Now everything should just come together. 
together. Okay, it's a bit of a struggle, but I got it in. And now we reattach the flexible tubing. And now we have a proper working axle. So we finish up by putting the front and the rear section back together. So first put the red connector to the beam this and then we should be able to attach oh, oops. yeah it's quite fiddly you need some feeling yeah uh, we should attach the chairs the chairs are also very important because they are holding everything together so like this now we have to uh, have to make sure that we attach the steering axle together and now everything should be able to just pop together and here we go it's together now we attach the side beams this off uh, these plates are gonna be holding the rear diffuser now we can concentrate on uh, the front steering so now that we added this uh, gear in front we're gonna modify the dash a bit. So this is the original dash. So we're gonna take it apart. So we only have these pieces and the steering wheel left. Now this is the modified version. So we attach these pieces onto each side and the steering wheel here. Now we gently insert the dash into the original place. And finally, I'm adding a frictionless pin inside here for additional support. So we just attach it like this. So it, if you look behind the wheel, it's attached into this brick here and it gives the steering a bit more support. And now you can see that the steering wheel is also steering along with the wheels. Okay, now let's uh, finish up uh, reassembling the set. So we have a rear spoiler here. So we need to attach these connectors. Okay, and we're gonna transfer the bricks from the rear diffuser, from the original to the 1x8 plates here. 
so now I put the doors inside and now we're gonna be assembling the side skirt don't forget to put the flexible hose and we're gonna do the same on the other hand side And finally we put on the wheels. And here we go. We have a proper rear wheel drive with a differential. And we have steering with a working steering wheel. So I hope you uh, enjoy this mod. And I hope this will bring more fun to your model. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have fun with the now improved version of the model. Goodbye!